Remember, uh, we're going to remove our masks, right? We wanted to make an opening statement, so. Yes. Oh, do I need to stop the recording and restart it? No, what, what, whatever. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Uh, I think, um, welcome, welcome to the Mask Up too. Macomb Award Announcements. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove my mask now, as we are uh, actually recording. Um, my name is Phil Gilchrist. I'm the executive director of the Anton Art Center in downtown Mount Clemens. I appreciate those of you who are joining us and also wore masks to this affair. Um, so uh, the Anton Art Center is really pleased and proud to have been able to work with both uh, Henry Ford Macomb Hospital and Macomb County in launching this Mask Up Macomb, hashtag Mask Up Macomb poster design contest. Um, before we go too much further, I am going to uh, ask everybody, I'm going to mute everybody just to make sure that we uh, don't have any background noise jumping in here. All right. Um, so it was, uh, you know, it was an interesting proposition. As the summer wore on, um, it became clear that communicating about the importance of wearing a mask to mitigate the effects of this um, pandemic, as well as to preserve personal safety and the safety of those um, who we come into contact with on a regular basis, um, that communication was going to be really key. And so as an art center, um, we had the idea of helping uh, to facilitate this poster design contest. Um, I was able to reach out to Greg uh, at Henry Ford Hospital and Maria at Macomb County in the Planning and Economic Development Department to have some discussion about whether this would be something that each of their organizations would like to help support. And fortunately, the answer was yes. And so um, I do have uh, both Greg and Maria here on the line today. Um, Greg, would you like to say a little bit about um, Henry Ford Macomb Hospital's uh, support of this program? Sure, sure. Let me made a couple notes here, so let me get them uh, up on the screen. Can everybody hear me? Okay, just wanna make sure I'm not on mute. Here we go. Well, thanks, good evening to everybody. Nice to meet you virtually. And thanks for joining us for this announcement. Henry Ford is, is very, Henry Ford Macomb is very honored to sponsor this contest event. We wanna thank all the artists that submitted poster designs for the contest. You're all winners in terms of your creat creativity and thoughtful efforts. Before we get to the outstanding entries that our, our judges selected, I want to say a few words about the important safety message that behind the poster contest. There's a lot of confusion out there about the best safety practices to protect ourselves against COVID-19. And I want to repeat something that Dr. Adnan Munkara said in yesterday's Free Press. Dr. Munkara is our Executive Vice President and Chief Clinical Officer at Henry Ford Health System, he's led our efforts against the COVID virus. He said, we encourage everyone to continue wearing masks, practice social distancing, avoid public or private gatherings of large numbers of people, and practice good hand hygiene. So that's, uh, I know you've heard all that before, but uh, I think the message is we don't wanna get relaxed, we wanna keep up the good work. And uh, we hope that's the message you take away from today's event and the winning poster designs. It isn't often that art and healthcare come together to send such a powerful message to our community, and that's what's happening today. And although the message is serious, it's fun to look at it from the perspective of poster art. So thanks again to all the artists. I know we're anxious to see the winning posters, so uh, let's go get on with the show. Thank you, Greg. Um, I, we have a, a little bit more procedure here before we can just get on with the, the winning announcements sure. here. Um, but we'll get there soon enough. <laughs> Maria, would you like to say a little bit about the county's support of this program? We can get you unmuted. I, I'm unmuted now. Um, thank you, Greg. Uh, and thanks for inviting the county to be a part of the poster contest. I think as you know, Macomb County in general is very supportive of the arts and recognizes uh, the value that public art uh, contributes to our communities. So of course, when you asked, we're interested in getting involved and especially with one that uh, conveys such an important message to our community. And finding a fresh way to say it, I think is, is very helpful, especially at this particular time. So thanks for inviting the county to be a, a part of it. We're, we're very pleased with uh, everything and, and the entries are outstanding. I'm glad I was not a judge because they're really some very beautiful artwork. Thank you. 
Thank you, Maria. And thank you both to Henry Ford Macomb Hospital and Macomb County for their support of this program. Um, next, I would like to invite, uh, we have two of our judges on the line today as well, and I would like to invite them to say a couple of words about their experience. Um, first, Natalie Dean Wood with the Macomb County Health Department. Well, good evening, everyone. Let me get myself off mute. You're off. Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I just want to say thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, it was, wow, a really overwhelming taking because all of the entries were so good. But being in the health department and knowing the importance of um, wearing a mask during this time, um, this really hit home with me. And I was, it was such a gracious honor to be able to be a judge. Um, it really shown through the artist's creativity, the importance of wearing a mask. Um, and it showed to me that they have a good understanding and, and of knowing the importance by the work they did through their artistry. So I wanted to say thank you to all of those that provided entries. As a judge, I would say it was very hard for me to come up with three in each category because I could have selected many more. But congratulations to those who will be announced later as the winners. And it was my pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoyed your experience. And uh, juror, number, uh, juror number two, Stephanie Hazard, the exhibition manager here at the Anton Art Center. Stephanie, would you like to share a few words? I would. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming today. Um, we're excited to partner with both the hospital and with Macomb County to launch this program. Um, as the Art Center representative and the team of jurors, um, it's so exciting to see such a great response when you put out a call. Um, when you have a call, it's when you're developing one, you have to think of a lot of specific details to make sure that the call is exactly what the artists need to, to um, base their mock-up from. Um, and you don't want to stifle in any way their creativity. So it's very important when we're putting that together that it's something that the artists can use um, as a reference and to um, structure what they're creating. But we really wanted the, the messaging and the creativity and the structure of the piece to really represent that artist and their ideas. So um, that's the only thing we provided and everything else was by you guys. So um, we, I was just thrilled to see them. They're just so much fun to look at and um, to see what comes in and to see different interpretations. Everyone's style is very different. Um, we even had a variety of media shown. So we, it wasn't restricted to just digital art, but we also received um, some photography and we received some mixed media, um, some painting and um, we had re received um, entries from as young an age as six um, through the adult category. So we had um, elementary schoolers participating as well. So that was really neat to see um, the age range in the participating um, artists. Um, but overall, I think that the, uh, these art programs like this, like the Mascot Macomb Design Contest really offers artists an opportunity to participate and to compete for prizes. Um, the top design will provide the community with a really important message. So while this was a great opportunity for artists to kind of uh, flex those art skills, um, I think that um, the effort behind this project is a really important one. So we're happy to be a, um, a partner in this. Um, yeah, and that and the Macomb County residents clearly did their part to make this new public health campaign a really great success. So a special thank you to all of the artists who spent their time um, to come up with these designs and to really, really impress us with some um, fantastic original pieces. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I would like to echo Stephanie's uh, thanks to the artists who created this work and submitted it for consideration as part of this contest. Um, we really couldn't have had this contest without your submissions. Uh, and so the, the contributions of each of you and those of you on the line today, thank you so much um, for participating. Um, so with no further ado, um, we're gonna get to our award announcements. I'm going to share my screen and I have the winning, I'm gonna cycle through the winning entries. Um, we're gonna start with our youth category. And give me just a second here. All right. I think These everybody can see that okay? Yeah. These results will be available in a press release as well after this is published. Yes. Um, just want to let you know to remind everybody that. 
Yes, thank you, Stephanie. Um, what would I do without Stephanie? Uh, <laughs> another detail that I'd like to point out right now is that um, all of our, our six top entries that have been selected by the judges uh, will be available as a digital download on the Anton Art Center's website at a minimum. Um, the top adult entry will be printed. Uh, we're going to print a quantity of, I think, 500 of those posters for distribution around the county as well. Um, the youth category, all winners of the youth category will be receiving a complimentary class registration for a class here at the Anton Art Center. And that is good for either an in-person class, if that's something that you're comfortable with, or one of our virtual classes, which are in development and will be launched soon. So now with really no further ado, um, our third place youth category winner is Tai Hong, age 16 from Sterling Heights, titled Wear a Mask. This is a fantastic representation of um, the importance of wearing a mask and a, it, maybe just a little, a little cheeky. I love it. It's great. Thank you so much, Ty. I think Ty's on the line here today. Um, Ty, if you would like to say anything, please go ahead and unmute yourself and, and speak to your experience. I'll give you a moment. No obligation, though. So... Personally, I've had experience like with COVID and relatives having COVID because a lot of my family works in medicine in the medical field. So I wanted to sort of make a statement, like not just do a basic, like someone wearing a mask. I wanted to make it a little bit like more creative, more of a actual art piece instead of just like a poster design. Mm, that's all, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think that you were really successful with your, uh, with your stated goal. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to our second prize, youth category winner. Oh. There we go. Meadow Van Armen, Staying Safe from Sterling Heights, our second prize winner. Um, this is another really nice entry. Um, I do not believe that Meadow is on the line with us. I'll do a quick double check to be sure. Nope. Okay. I do know this is a digital art piece. So this is something that I believe she rendered digitally um, by hand. So I think it's a drawing um, made digitally. Great. Excellent. All right. Now on to our first place youth category winner. Isabella Delecki, We Are Stronger Together from St. Clair Shores. It's another fantastic entry. There were so many. I'm also glad that I was not a judge, folks. Um, although I will, uh, in full disclosure, I had to be a tie-breaking judge for a couple of entries. <laughs> it was really, really difficult. There were so mm -hmm. many strong pieces. Um, I, I don't know if I'm speaking for Natalie as well, but it was really tough. It took us a long time to get through the entries and really consider all the factors that we were that we had in mind when we were looking for um, details. And it came down to really fine details, at least for my decisions. Um, and yeah, congratulations to Isabella. Yes, congratulations to Ilabeza and, uh, I'm sorry, Isabella, and all of our youth category winners. All right, moving on to our adult category winners. Our third prize winner, uh, who will receive a cash prize of $150. I can't use my arrow keys to advance and I keep forgetting that. Donna Hurt, We Are Macomb from Sterling Heights, the third prize adult category. This is another fantastic entry. Um, I don't believe Donna's on the line here today either. If I'm missing it, if, if somebody's on the line but under a name that's not shown on screen and you'd like to say a few words, just unmute yourself. <laughs> Don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> Natalie, if there's anything you want to add to while we're going through these, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Oh yeah, please do chime. You'll unmute yourself and chime in. <laughs> this one right here for me really kind of hit home um, in regards to having the, the imprint of Macomb County with the mask wrapped around it and the COVID flo floating all around, which as we know, that's how COVID seems to be spreading, floating through the air. But this was, um, this was one of my favorites. But as, as Stephanie mentioned, it was very hard to select. We had some great entries. Great entries. Yeah. Good. For well, sure. Thank you. I thought the use of the space was really cool with this one. It really filled the composition well um, throughout the piece. And uses 
some strong colors that you can see from a, a distance, which would make a successful poster. Um, and so blue kind of represented you know, the healthcare industry a little bit to me as I was going through the entries. And so this one did stick out as well for that reason. Great. All right, let's take a look at our second prize adult category winner. Not with the arrow keys, Phil. Melanie Craig, hashtag mask up Macomb from St. Clair Shores. Yay, Melanie. So none of the artists um, were artists that we've, we've worked with too much. Um, so I didn't really recognize Melanie's name right off the bat, but after um, doing some research, I believe she's a student with CCS. Um, so that was kind of neat to find out um, that we have some local students that submitted some entries. Yeah. And this one I thought was really strong because she's an illustrator, um, it appears. And um, so these renderings are her own. Um, and I like the use of the, the um, how do you call it? Like a, like a paintbrush effect or a, or a, a spray paint effect that she used with the lettering and in the background. Um, and of course the, the lettering was very striking as well as the shape of Macomb County there with the mask and the friendly folks with their, keeping healthy with their masks on. Excellent. All right, Melanie, I don't think you're on the line here either. Nope, okay. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. First prize, adult category winner is Vanessa Montano with Mask Up. Yay. Uh, Vanessa is from Macomb. That's fantastic. Um, just as a reminder, this entry will have printed copies as well, and those copies will be distributed around. Um, we'll make sure to get some of those copies to Vanessa as well. Judges, any comments on our, our top adult prize winner? Well, this one was, um, this one popped, so the way we juried these were um, each juror had, uh, would vote in three pieces, their first, second, and third choices. And then as those came in, they were awarded in a point system. So a first prize selection from a judge received three points, um, the second choice received two, and the third choice received one. So they were all based um, as a point system for each of the three jurors. So it was really a matter of um, the points that that particular piece um, had racked up at the end of the tallying. Um, and so this piece did appear in each judge's panels for one, two, or three third place. So um, ended up with the most points. So uh, there was a variety of pieces too that were chosen by the jurors that couldn't end up being um, one of the top three just because out of nine selections, we couldn't have all nine clearly with only three choices. Um, but there were a lot of favorites that um, I think that didn't make it in that um, we would wanna see, but the good news is we do have all those pieces posted or a, a lot of them posted on our Facebook too. So you can always take a look there for some really cool art. Great. Hey Stephanie, it's Maria. I think it would be great if you could post all the pictures again. Okay. Uh, that we share that album as well because the work is absolutely outstanding. And I see we have a couple artists in the room mm -hmm. collected and, and, and your work was really, really good. And we definitely want people to see everything and to be inspired by by what you put together. So I hope we yeah. can add, add them all to that photo album and, and share them all. I think the public would be very happy to see them all. Absolutely, and what I'll do now that we have um, the results posted is I can add the artist's names to the pieces so that they have now have authorship to those. That's Great. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I would just like to echo what Maria just um, recommended. I think that they all should be public. Um, mm -hmm. That's one of the winning in the uh, adult category. As soon as I saw it, what popped in my mind was live, work, and play in Macomb, mm. and Macomb, your home. Uh, those are the things that popped up in my mind when I saw that one. That was a great entry, and I think it's very inclusive and says a lot about what Macomb County stands for. Mm -hmm. I remember um, that's, a, that's exactly part of what the other juror had mentioned, too, that she was focusing on that hey, element of it as well. Hi, Jen. It's my son. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. 
Um, in case I didn't mention our third juror out loud, uh, Mallory Montgomery from Henry Ford Bacoma Hospital also contributed to the jury process for this contest. Um, a big thank you to all of our jurors who contributed and helped us select uh, the, the winning entries from what was submitted. Um, I'd like to say too that for our, uh, our participating artists, I'd encourage you to check out our website, www.theartcenter.org for additional artist opportunities. We're always posting new um, opportunities there, both ours and opportunities from other organizations. Um, and there's a lot of other uh, digital content that we have available on the website and other um, types of uh, ways to engage with the arts as well as the Anton Art Center. I think that about brings us to a close here. Um, any final comments, Greg or Maria? Oh, well, it was a, a fun project, and I'm very proud of all the entries, and uh, it was it was a, a great effort. And a great idea, too, Phil. Thanks for coming up with that. Oh, of course. Thank you all for your support. Um, Stephanie, did I miss anything? Um, I don't think so. Um, okay. We covered a lot of a lot of good information and um, yeah, this contest was really fun. I'm really glad that we had such great partners and supportive partners um, who we all, we all, we all had our different roles in putting this together and it really turned out nice. So great job, everybody. Thank you. Natalie, any final, final words, final thoughts? Well, thank you, Anton Center for putting this on. Um, I think it was a great idea and a great opportunity. And it also helps with the awareness of wearing your mask, staying safe during this time of the pandemic. And thank you for allowing me to be a judge. Thank you for being a judge. All right. Um, we will be releasing uh, all of our award winners um, by press release, and we'll be sharing this video as well. Um, and all of this, in uh, both the video and press release, will be available on the Anton Art Center's website as well as those digital download posters that I'd mentioned. So thank you all again, and I hope you all have a perfectly lovely evening. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening. <laughs>